Oh, oh. Mm. Now look at this. How to become an emancipated minor in Washington State. Yeah. That allows minors 16 and older to petition the court for emancipation. Mm -hmm. To me, emancipation means t taking on the rights and responsibilities of an adult, <laughs> which otherwise comes with the reaching the age of majority. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the process requires a payment of a fee. And then petitioner's full name, birth date, state, county of birth. Yes. And then there's that certified copy of the petitioner's birth certificate. Yes. Now, I did provide a copy of the birth certificates. Uh -huh. Brett Roberts. And you thought I was fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. You thought I was crazy to put their social security numbers online. Mm -hmm. But I am the named father of all five sons right now. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. when you issued this for 10 years, yes. Uh, this son yes. had the right to not be named as a protected person. Mm -hmm. And he could have told me as his father, yes, uh, mom actually did kidnap us from Guam. And the court issued protection orders against you, dad. Yes, without any due process, without any notice or opportunity to be heard, mm -hmm. without any testimony contradicting the petitioner. Mm -hmm. Now, Bishop... <laughs> at the age of 13, could have done the same thing. Deacon, at the age of 13, could have done the same thing. It only takes one of them to tell the court, actually, we were kidnapped from the United States Territory of Guam. Did anybody in the police department ask my sons, what the fuck? Did any person in the Seattle Police Department ask them they are of age? Yes. Could you tell me exactly how you ended up in Jefferson County? Oh, mm -hmm. now this says uh -huh, 13 to 15 with friend of court. Mm -mm -mm. Let's just read it. Oh. Now, to, what, no, what we're really doing is we're establishing a huge international lawsuit for every member nation of the world. Yes. Yeah. That has any knowledge of the United States refusing to enforce the rights of the minors named. <laughs> now, I've often said that I get to go first. Oh, but if you, Sheriff Stanko, didn't ask my sons, yes, can you tell me how your mother got custody of you? What? She said she mailed it, but she didn't. <clears throat> my dad was at his grandmother's house and he didn't get notice of court hearings. <clears throat> In fact, he didn't get a copy of it, too. The marriage certificate was issued from the United Nations, and nobody wanted to go through them to be able to get a dissolution of marriage. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. a person who fears violence from family or household member, yeah, RCW 10.99, oh, or who has been the victim of physical harm or fears, Eminent physical harm or stalking from a family or household member. Yes. I fit the definition of a family or household member. Yes. Uh, includes dating relationships. Yes. Petitioners 13 or older in a dating relationship with a respondent. 16 or older. Mm -hmm. Now that would be somebody that's 13. Yes. That fears family or household. Maybe you were dating your cousin. <laughs> A little incest going on there in the family. You're dating your brother. <coughs> Minors age 13 to 15 with a parent, guardian, guardian, ad litem, or next friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, the TPO, the temporary protection order, can only be issued for 14 days. Yes. The permanent order is limited to the superior court. If superior court has family law action pending or if the case involves children or order to vacate home. Yes. A notice served on the rep respondent. Yeah. Something that never happened. Mm -hmm. Now, notice by certified mail or publication authorized in limited circumstances. Um. I'm kind of thinking they don't have to motion the court. I think that you as a judge have to remove it, Brent. 
Mm -hmm. Because you have uh -huh, facilitated what is known as international child abduction. It seems that Heidi had family in Clallam County that I didn't know about. Yes. Something that involves three fingers. Oh, you know, you don't know. <laughs> Which we all know. <clears throat> and it could have been that she screwed her way in before I... Brant. Do you know how to come to find out? Listen, dog. Temporary protection order is only valid for 14 days with service. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, temporary protection order, for 24 days certified mail or service by publication. Yeah. A permanent order for protection can be designated by the court. Yes. One year or permanent. Mm -hmm. Now, what decides how this is issued? Oh. Domestic Violence Protection Order. Yes. Now, uh, the idea mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that having minor children in common. Yes. And then the minor child. Yes. That with friend can get their own protection order. Yes. Means that they could only issue it. Well. Zachary would have had to serve me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the truth of the matter is, mm -hmm. uh, you couldn't issue the two-year protection order. No. Mm -mm. Uh, because the the thought was, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, see, uh, let's see here. Oh. Notice of hearing. Uh, renewal and notice of hearing. Ouch. Sheriff's return of service, order reissuing temporary protection order. Uh huh. Motion hearing, proof of mailing, declaration of Heidi Budnick. Yes. And then um, you put it in the Squim Gazette. Oh, not for 24 days. Mm -mm. 48 days. Oh, six weeks. 42. And then uh, you issued it uh -huh, for two years. Mm. Now, if you really wanted to really understand, you could not issue it beyond the birth date of the 13-year-old minor. Yes. That protection order you're getting sued for. Right now. Now, um, this idea that you don't understand how people do this in other nations. Yes. Well, this is how you do it. Uh -huh. This is how you abduct children. You can't issue a temporary protection order for 48 days, Brent. Mm -hmm. You can't use forgeries to issue it. Yes. It can't violate the rights of the minors named. Yes. The parent has to appear in court and consent to it right now. Because she mm -hmm, has to be able to say, yes, that the minor 13 years old, oh, Zachary James Budnick does want to... <laughs>